Teachers of Reddit. What is the most not safe for work thing you've seen a student do in class? Hi Reddit guys. Subscribe now, or I will kiss a frog. There had to be a company wide meeting for the after school program I taught for. Because one of my students was caught giving a hand job to her boyfriend in every class during the first week of school. They weren't allowed to sit next to each other for the remaining two years. They could only see each other during the program. Sounds like she took their relationship very seriously. She handled it quite well. Remember being a teenager and being able to arm 8 plus times per day? She was caught every time. Sounds more like all day blue balls. I knew a college girl getting certified to teach technology ed, which includes traditional trades. Her requirements included student teaching, and her assignment was to a middle school wood shop. Her first day in the classroom she discovered a kid using the ban sawdust collection suction tube as fapping enhancer. Probably the absolute last appliance I'd think about using. Vacu Jack. 8th grade boys can be very resourceful when needed. Well was he wearing his iron ear protection? He was not wearing eye protection. That's what initially got her attention. Damn kid was breaking rules all over the place. I was helping out in a high school class and I caught the girl at the back giving the guys either side of her a hand job, at the same time. Ah. A good old backseat skid here. My kinda gal. When I was a counselor, I saw a boy jacking off in the hallways. I noped a U-turn and walked away. Sheld continued and as you passed him, without so much as looking at him, said you know you're not nearly impressive enough to do that right? You know. Assert dominance. Had a couple of kids set fire to the rubbish bin in the back of the class as they didn't want to do a French exam. It worked. They got suspended. I did it work temporarily or what? Like did they take the exam when they got back? At least at my school, if you missed an assignment, because you were suspended you weren't allowed to make it up later. Gargantuan special ed boy in middle school wore sweatpants exclusively. Lots of awkward boners. Not awkward for him. He either didn't notice or didn't care. But awkward for everyone else, especially, because there's nothing you can really do or say to him about it. You just made sure to keep your distance, because he didn't care what or who it bumped into. Life has many boners, Ed boy, comma Rolf. I bet he was the son of a shepherd. You dare mock the son of a shepherd? In class. Caught two morons do a drug deal on 4. 20 of all days. How dumb do you have to be? I guess they thought they were slick. Both dropped pencils. One picked it up and left money on the ground. The next picked up the money and left a bag on the ground. The buyer dropped his pencil again and picked up the bag. Out of class. Walked in on two students having shreks in a rarely used stairwell. The guy took the girl's pants and threw them at us as he made his escape. The girl just screamed in anger and humiliation. That was a surprising interruption. The guy took the girl's pants and threw them at us as he made his escape. The girl just screamed in anger and humiliation. LOL. Cool girl. I bet against a second date. Q. How do you outrun a bear? A. Outrun the girl you were just freaking. If you feel the heat around the corner you gotta make sure there's nothing you can't walk away from in 30 seconds or less. Girl getting fingered under the desk in chemistry lab. Were they testing her pH levels? She was definitely basic. Chemical burn. This is the most not safe for work thing I've seen in school. Only I was in the second grade. Looking back I realize that both students involved had some serious issues at home. I know the girl ended up in a bad place in her adult life. Not sure about the fella. Not a teacher. But when I was in 8th grade I witnessed a kid go up to the teacher's desk and set his boner down on her desk, saying look what you did to me. Peen logic. Did you have a practical session in your polyontology lesson? That is what your username suggests. There are a lot of other ways I've heard about kids admitting shrekshul attraction to their teachers, but this one is my favorite. Musical notes. Look what you made me do musical notes. A kid used to rip the anti-theft sensors out of the spines of library books and plant them in kids' pens, backpacks, binders etc. The alarms would go off all day. 
Librarians had a tough time figuring out what the bell was going on. Librarians had a tough time figuring out what the bell was going on. Was that a pun or autocorrect? I'd like to think their phone thought it would be punny. Genius. My one friend used to do this at my school. But he messed up, got caught, and was expelled a month before graduation. When I was an ESL teacher in Japan, a high school student threatened to rape me during class. He thought I didn't understand Japanese, and that it would be a fun joke. Expelled. Or worse. Death. I think in Japan it would work better the other way around. Death. Or worse. Expelled. Too much hentai. Not a teacher, um. But in kindergarten there was a girl in my class who would constantly take off her clothes and run around the room naked until someone could catch her. It was really a weird thing to try and process as a 6 year old. Greased up deaf guy's daughter. You're never gonna catch me. See you all next year. My daughter just started kindergarten and this is my biggest fear. She has a bad habit of tripping out of her clothes whenever she uses the bathroom. I'm just waiting for the day the principal calls. Not a teacher, but, I was sat on a desk with 5 other guys they told me that they have a surprise for me and to look under table. Being a gullible 10 year old girl, I looked down and all of them had their dongs out. Was a surprise to say the least. You are 10? That's freaking awful. Yeah I think I was younger, but I will stick to 10. I had no choice in the seating arrangements either so was stuck with them for the whole year. I'm still not sure who pooped in the tuba, but I hold a grudge. The mad pooper. We had a phantom crapper at my school a few years before I got there. He used to take a shoot in the sink every now and then, and to try and stop this school made it so you had to sign in, and out the key to the toilet when you had to go. It didn't work. Not a teacher. I've seen my friend put his hand inside his girlfriend's pants during class. The teacher saw. Complained to the principal. She got suspended. He got expelled. The teacher saw. Complained to the principal. This wording is. Weird. In a pouty voice. Mr. Denton. The kids were fingering again. Maybe he wasn't doing a good job. Not a teacher. But in during the last week of 8th grade. This popular chick was expelled. Because the gym teacher found acid in her shoes in the girls locker room. Once the girl found out she was expelled she immediately went to the gym to fight the teacher. We only had one female gym teacher so it was easy to find out who reported her. My group of friends were outside killing time during lunch when all of a sudden this chick busts through the double doors. Spearing the gym teacher through them and crashes on the ground. She starts to pummel her while our officer comes out of nowhere and tackles the student to the ground. Well she was so enraged that she took them both head on and it took about 10 minutes of sparring with the officer and the teacher before she was restrained. Hit Jerrell. The early days. Not a teacher, but happened right next to me in the computer lab during middle school. There was this strange girl in my class. There's one in every class you know the one I'm talking about. Fake tails. Would wear cat ears literally all the time. Anyway she was sitting next to me in computer lab and started to squirm in her chair a little. Like she was trying to itch something. Well she stops squirming and looks down puts her hand down her pants and brings up two fingers that were completely red. But it didn't stop their own no. She then smelled it for a bit and licked it off. I almost threw up. Word spread quick of what had happened. Honestly I don't think she ever cared. That girl's name. Maureen Ponderosa. Judge may we put Ponderosa vs Reynolds on the docket? She's a cat for Christ's sake. End me. There once was a vampire named Mabel. Whose periods were both heavy and stable. Once every moon. She'd break out a spoon. And drink herself under the table. Not a teacher. I did have a classmate who put two fingers in her pee pee. Showed me her wet fingers and asked me if I wanted a taste. I declined. Couldn't stand up for 2 minutes though. Why did you decline? He had to decline because of the incline. I didn't see the not a teacher part so I was scared for a bit. Special needs child in high school. Running full speed down the hallway. Naked. Fapping. And pooping. 
Full speed. Way to multitask. I'm just laughing my ass off imagining like a Naruto run and when he stops he says believe it and shoots. Not a teacher, but in 7th grade I walked into the locker room to change for gym, and saw two kids trying to figure out how Shrek's works. They did not know how it works. Catholic school was wild. Apparently in my HS there was a group of guys that thought shooting in the locker room was a fun thing to do. Not like shooting in the toilet, but sitting on the changing benches, sliding their ass just enough off the back, and shooting directly on the floor. Then they just left it. Nobody really knew who it was. Then one day I walk into the locker room and see this kid just grunting with his ass hanging off the edge of the bench and a turd slowly dropping like a soft serve ice cream machine. When I was in boarding school a guy took a poo in the guy's cereal bowl. It was just a tiny spherical piece of fecal matter, almost like a chocolate truffle. Okay reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will kiss a frog.